welcome to the channel for the first time viewers welcome back from my existing subscribers super quick uh, commentary and then i'll jump to the gameplay there's going to be radeon super resolution on 1080p right so that's one of the newer settings that they had released alongside fsr a while back um i made this benchmark a while ago it's just i don't really use the amd system too much i haven't had a lot of work to do on it so um just gonna go ahead and make this video for y'all now and then it transitions over to just regular 1080p so you can see the quality difference and then it goes over to 1440p um, native so just so you know essentially when you use uh, rsr you pick a lower resolution that's the that's the resolution the game will render at and then upscale um to your monitor's resolution so to go to 4k if you're using 4k or to go to you know 1440p in my scenario just want to show off the differences for those of you that are a little bit interested now what's exciting is that um what is it uh fsr 2.0 just launched today it only supports death loop right now so it's kind of like one of those things where it's really awesome that it's out but you know it's not for every game i heard god of war 2 is one of the games that were forward and saying or not god of war 2 but god of war um was one of those games that was forward and saying they're going to support it so we'll see how that turns out and i definitely am going to test it out uh, from what I'm seeing, you know, Hardware Unboxed did a review of it. It looks really good. Even with the YouTube compression, you could spot the differences between FSR 1.0 and 2.0. And they're saying it's very close to DLSS. So now it's just going to be up to to see essentially what's going to happen with ray tracing because DLSS was another big advantage as well as, you know, just having better tools for creators on the NVIDIA side. So the more the AMD starts to pull away, the drivers have gotten a little bit better. Um, as far as the interface, they actually have more features inside of uh, the Radeon Adrenaline software. So that's already a win, but it wasn't that stable before. So that was kind of like a double edge win. Um, but again, we'll see how this all turns out. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, video in the comment section. We'll have a conversation. Be easy. Moving in. Heavy loadout drop on the way. Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. Time for a fight. Oi, you're up next. Ready up. Fight your way out and you return to the front line. 
lose, and you're finished. Fight your way. You look like shit. Back to... Closing on your position. Suggest you start running. Cash drop on the way. It's payday, gents. Drop inbound. Recon is on the way. UAV beginning flyover. A Nebula 5 bomb has been discovered. Stay alert. Enemy UAV active. Returning for resupply. This is the Gulag. Survive this. You get to redeploy. 
Taunt the enemy while you wait. Two stones to the noggin all the way. The fight begins. Eyes up, soldier. Your turn. Fight your way out and you return to the front line. Lose and you're finished. Fight your way out of this or capture the objective. You look like shit. Practice is over. The real fight begins now. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Approaching your position. Get to the safe zone. Cash drop on the way. It's payday, gents. Primary objective is to eliminate all enemies. Attack! Gulag. Survive this and you get to redeploy. A fight has started. Get ready to tussle. You're on. Win here and you return to the battlefield. Lose and your fight is over. Fight your way out of this or capture the objective.